Good morning, team. It's me, Jay Song, and I'm so glad you're here on a Saturday morning. It's a nice Saturday morning. We'll get right into some price maps. Um, I want to show you something really funny today at the end of this. We're going to do something um, different. Um, I told people, please send me a list of some altcoins that you want me to take a look at. Uh, so we're going to be doing them live, and I'm, I'll, I'll be showing you what I see on, on some of those maps. Uh, but first, let's go right over um, this morning's update. Um, I, uh, we have XRP. Let's start with XRP, which I am expecting it to have a big bull run over the next, uh, you know, over the next 10 days or so. So we're going to be looking uh, uh, really, really the next maybe 10, 15 days. I do need to take an examine uh, over that. So I am still long. So... We do have a lot of evidence uh, for uh, XRP uh, it, that shows that we are in strength. I took a look at our one hour chart on XRP and we do see some, um, you could see this green line right here um, showing that uh, price was sitting on there. Uh, now we are above this blue line right here in the middle of the screen. Uh, we did have some phantom support, <clears throat> uh, sorry, some phantom resistance on this light blue line right there, this light blue line connecting those two swings. I duplicated that one and I put it at the top. Uh, yesterday, price did come right up to that line. Exactly. I marked it in point one. And this is what I put as the words. I said, upon closer examination on the one hour chart, we see prices building evidence for more strength coming in. There's a lot of support that price has built for itself during the last consolidation. This is bullish. We have uh, seen, we have selling coming in uh, last night, but this was at the phantom resistance and it was not strong enough, uh, meaning strong enough to go down. So if we were to take a look at the, the volume on this, on this very large up bar, uh, we went, we went up all the way to here and then came back down and the volume was, was a very high spike. It was this long red, red, red one right there, that one. And then the next candle was a very low a low uh, volume up bar so this would suggest uh, because of this up bar we did have a lot of buying pressure we we actually started here came all the way down and then came right back up so there is selling but that selling is where selling should be so I'm not so concerned about that as being selling um, that's why I don't see it as strong enough. The other thing is that we the next bar very up. If it was all selling, why did we have a long up bar on average volume? So that that tells me that um, this was more uh, of a test uh, and a shakeout, and then uh, resistance areas that needed to come in. So there was resistance, but was that selling enough to bring price down? Uh, we're still within the you know within normal range for this. So I wasn't so uh, caught off guard by that. Um, also, you know, again, we're sitting on top of this blue line. So just looking at this line in conjunction with where we've been, this is a one hour chart. I don't really spend too much time on one hour charts. Um, I'm looking at the overall time frames. I've been, I spent a lot of time on daily and four hour charts and we were building up the, uh, we were definitely building up a um, support uh, in this area. So we were, oops, look at that, it's all black. We were building a support in this area and the longer we stay and the more organic it looks, the better it is for pushing through to higher prices. Okay, so that's what uh, I'm really uh, looking at uh, for that. Uh, we are still on our way to 80.54. Well, price will make a decision. Either it's going to uh, come down, you know, do that. You can do that and then come down if it was. Uh, but I actually think we're going to break up and then come and maybe kiss the line or sit on the line and go up. That's where I'm, I'm looking right now. But as it is right now, I'm still very much expecting that target of 8047. Okay, so next chart. Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is sitting on uh, did break through its previous resistance. And now I believe we're actually going to come back down, either kiss the blue line right here uh, or it, we're going to go up higher. Um, this blue line is the four hour core and a daily core for I believe it's a daily core for the Bitcoin. Uh, I have just a picture right here because I already did the map earlier and I'm just flying through. If you wanted a more in-depth in analysis, please take a look at my video yesterday about Bitcoin. You can also help you to learn how to draw price maps yourself.
with Zill, we're still on top of this resistance area, so it's very possible we can go uh, to this level. But at that level, I think it's going to make a decision. Either it's going to get caught up in here, or it's going to come down and bounce and come up to here and then make a, make a move lower, or it's just going to come down lower to its cut areas, which would be about right here or this previous uh, resistance area. Um, so I'm not as confident at the moment with it. I don't like it at the moment. It's it's just not set up. There's just better options for me right now. Um, if you are long Zill, I th think we would have to go through some chop before going up to this. There's just a lot of resistance lines in play, these three lines here. Um, so be on the, the lookout for those three. We could, it is possible we can push through all of these lines, um, but right now it's it's not looking the best. But this formation is very good. You know, we are sitting right on top of that phantom and a nice curve shape. I do like that. That that we do that I do like. Um, the problem is, uh, will we get? I really want price to sit on top of this previous resistance for me to feel better, because if we come into this weekend and then price does that, uh, again I'm not confident in it right now at the moment. I want it to be up in this area. Got it. So that's what I'm looking for in Zill. Next we have XLM. XLM is uh is looking good. Um it is on top of its phantom again. We connecting those lines, draw the phantom, price is sitting on the phantom and it's curving nice. I like these curves. Good, good, good. And I still believe we're really on our way to the 3647 uh resistance area. I think we're headed up there. Um this is the XLM on a daily chart. So this can take a little bit, guys. Um uh, you know when when we're, when you're looking at these type of setups this is very slow um but they'll have big gains um if if the setup turns out to be fantastic um so i i right now i'm only seeing uh, good signs for xlm next we have xdc xdc is still in the support area it's it's built up over a longer period of time again it's on a daily chart um but what is what it, it you know we came down hard in here and we're floating right above the support of this blue line so that looks good we did have a big uh, shakeout but then we didn't fall down so that's still bullish um it's right now uh connecting these lines we did draw this big parabolic line so i'm actually ex uh i actually can easily see and expecting just like bitcoin did when it's set on its parabolic and and I do see parabolics quite a bit, that price will climb up those lines and it can do that. Um, yeah, it could do it straight up, but that's generally not the case, especially if we have a lot of room to play with. And we're talking about, uh, according to this curve here, um, August, the month of August 16, right before the 17th. So you, we still got we still got quite some time. Now it's possible if XRP experiences a big bull run, this will run with XRP and, and go up at those times. But at the current moment, I'm not expecting that at all. Uh, not not for it to be that that quick. Uh, of course we could, we could. Um, but this one this setup seems like it's gonna be a few more days. I do expect this though uh because we're so close to this line i ex uh i expect that price will only take a few more days because you can only fit so many candles in here before you phase through okay so what a few days into august which is today tomorrow's august 1st so you know we're talking about one two three four five maybe five bars before price has to make a decision about what it's going to do and if it's either going to go higher or it's going to break lower and close lower um so that's what uh, X, XDC. So we should be expecting a big movement in the next few days with XDC one way or the other. I am bullish XDC. Dogecoin. Um, I did something interesting yesterday. I did the uh, I did some calculations. Um, I deleted some of them, but basically we did the Fib match. You'll you'll learn that from the lesson. Uh, on one of my videos, it's called the Fib lesson. It's one of my early videos uh, where I teach you how to do Fib match. Fib matches. Uh, so it's a type of calculation. We can find some magnetic zones. Sometimes they act as resistances uh, into the future, and you can find which Fib uh, which Fib lines of the Fibonacci uh, of the Fibonacci that will most likely be the one that reacts. Well, there's actually two of them. 
according to a previous resistance, but I only left uh, according to my previous calculations, but I only left the last one, the last calculation set, and it's this one. So there's a match right here at that line, and there is another match at this line right here. And so we see price has not broken through uh, those lines yet, and we're sitting right in that area. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm. It's it's just more and more reasons why this setup isn't looking good at the moment. It's looking like it's gonna take some time, or it's looking like it's not gonna work. It looks like it's gonna be a failed signal, um, and that can very well happen. Um, a failed setup. We're still in that zone, but again, I don't really trust the zone because it's been penetrated too much on the four-hour chart for it to actually hold. And so I'm going to show you what I, what I, you know, we talked about this yesterday in the video. So go ahead and take a look at my other video. I do see that this could be the very most likely outcome for the, for Doge on, for Doge on the head and shoulders pattern. So this is the, um, for that, for Doge. Before I get into some altcoins, I wanted to show you this, guys. Uh, have you ever got a message from someone and you did not know who they were and they sent you just like a random message because they think they're texting somebody that you know? Well, most people just say, sorry, you have the wrong number. And uh, gosh, I, I, I just can't do it sometimes. I just, I'm too kind of a person. I'm, I'm just so, you know, I'm very nice. I'm very kind uh, that I would like to, you know, help uh you know uh respond <laughs> no way i'm not so kind <laughs> i just like having fun and i like laughing a lot um so this person messaged me uh so this person messaged me and i'm gonna read this is what they text me this morning uh i bought a package of ganoshi's ganoshi to make your soup no soup recipe would you pick would you send a pic of the recipe Sandra and I are at a bluegrass camp with, uh, out, um, so this is what they sent to me. I bought a package of ganoshi to make your soup. No soup recipe. Would you send a pic of the recipe? Sandra and I are at a bluegrass camp out with about 50 people this weekend. It's been horrible hot, 102 and humid. Maybe a chance of rain showers this afternoon. How's life in Tennessee? So... Being the kind and gentle person that I am, I sent this. Ganoshi soup, huh? Oh, sounds delicious. I think I like this one. And then I sent her a recipe of some ganoshi soup. I hope it's enough to feed everyone. That's terrible that it's so hot, I said. I think life in t Tennessee is good. I think I would have to find someone from Tennessee and ask them how life is. Until then... I'll say that I'm not sure. Thank you for asking. Uh, as everyone else knows that I'm not in Tennessee. <laughs> then uh, they replied. I think you added mushrooms that were hidden from sight. I remember that it was delicious. I want to make Julie a birthday, July 11th, box with everything she needs to make your root beer float. Do you have that recipe handy? I get my boot off that day so I can start walking again. We may just have to have a double celebration. Hello too, Jack. Miss you too. Miss you too. Like two? Two people? So this is what I said. Did I? I have no memory of cooking this particular dish. But perhaps it's just too early this morning. But I'm glad you liked it last time if that was the case. Sorry about all my typos. Um, when I'm typing with my hands uh, on this iPad, sometimes they, <laughs> I miss a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of foolish typing errors when, it does that, when I do that. And then I said this. Root beer float, huh? Hmm, let me see. I will say that my secret to a premium taste, and I've had much success with this before, is really simple. Use organic vanilla bean ice cream. Not not the, I meant to put, the cheap stuff. No high fructose corn syrup. I'm not kidding. Or lots of preservatives. It gives a fresh taste. Two scoops and use root beer from the glass bottles made with real sugar. Again, no, not high fructose corn syrup. The taste is fresh and it hits you hard, leaves a good aftertaste and leaves them begging for more. And then I said, Jack? Question mark? Like, I wonder who Jack is. But then they said this. 
Yes, when I was visiting with him after we ate, he was talking about how he wouldn't eat mushroom. We were really trying hard not to burst out laughing. So I guess maybe she cooked, uh, you know, <laughs> maybe he was eating the mushrooms that were hidden. So I said, you know, sometimes you have to be sneaky about mushrooms in case if you want someone to enjoy the taste without them knowing. It's sadly the case with lots of secret recipes. I just found out a loved one of mine puts peanut butter in a type of pork sauce. It's so good, but I was shocked to discover their dirty secret. I feel so bad keeping it inside. I hope you don't mind me confessing my secrets here. And so this is the conversation I am having at the moment with this person who doesn't know that they are talking to a wrong number. So please never send me a, a random text because I will respond and I will send you on the wrong direction. It's just like when I wear, uh, you know, when I wear red shirts, uh, red polo shirts to Target and people will stop me uh, in the halls and say, hey, do you know where this is? And I'll send them. I'll say, oh, yeah, it's in aisle 62. And I'll send them looking. And there's no aisle 62. I just send them there in those directions, you know, because uh, it's fun. So, you know, I know God will judge me. I know. I, I know. But may he forgive me. Oh, Lord, help me. Help me change. <laughs> Don't crucify me, guys. Don't crucify me. All right. Yeah, don't don't crucify me, guys. So uh, let's get into some altcoins. All right, guys, before we continue, I wanted to say that uh, there is a channel called Now Daily Bread, and I wanted to thank them for sharing my dream. Uh, she she uh, does do some encouragement. She does talk about the, the Lord, the Word of God, and she shares dreams that she's had. Uh, so I do recommend going ahead and taking out uh, taking a time out of your, your life and uh, watching her channel, watching some of her videos. Uh, she does talk about XRP. Um, and there is many people from her community who are actually joining us on the chart room. I, I, seen, I saw yesterday a big uptick in our subscribers uh, for our channel here at the chart room. Um, so uh, I'm, if, you're, if you've been sent from her, praise God. Uh, may that woman be blessed. May you be blessed as well. I'm really glad uh, that she's such a uh, anointed woman of God uh, praying. And I pray that the she's very humble. I pray the Lord continue to, to use her. Uh, from what I hear, she didn't understand anything about crypto markets or anything um, before, these, before the Lord started speaking to her. But the Lord started sharing with her these things to help position her and I believe others who would be uh, casting their lots with her as well in uh, going in those same directions. Um, so, uh, you know, bless bless them. There's a few channels I've been uh, really liking. Um, uh, uh, Prophet Nathan, uh, the man of God in our chart room, he's been uh, sharing a lot about Fireside Grace, uh, Fireside Grace uh, channel. So go ahead and take a uh, take a look at their channel. They they he, that that man, he's very very accurate. Uh, and very good about speaking. Uh, they have a section in their videos called Tomorrow's Headlines Today. I really enjoy that section. So uh, God bless to that whole group and him and his wife and their team. Uh, and I also know that they just started going full-time ministry. Um, they are just being supported now solely on the, the, uh, you know, the, the, the ministry itself. But they're able to devote more time to that. So... Praise God for that, and if you, if the Lord puts it on your heart to make a donation, or the Lord has been putting it on your heart to make a donation to that ministry, go ahead and bless that ministry. God will uh, bless that. As my past, uh, as my own pastor always uh, says, that when you when you uh, join yourself uh, financially to a type of ministry, uh, the Lord really takes a note of that ministry, and um, there's a blessing that's for that ministry that also comes upon you, and it's and it's the same. So, uh, if there are people that are feeding into your life spiritually uh, in those areas, uh, don't uh, just remember the worker is worth his keep, and uh, don't don't hesitate if the Lord is putting it on your heart uh, to be a blessing to those people. Um, there are times like I know the Bible says that Paul was a, a tent maker. Um, he did not live support uh, only on the ministry uh, at that time, but he also said it wasn't wrong. And he said he actually said it would be better for him if he did, um, but he didn't do that just because he wanted to, uh, because of where he was going. Uh, there, there was a type of dogma at the time, and there still is in, in, uh, in communities that some people say, oh, they only want you for your money or anything like that. But um, you do need to realize that... Um, that we do live, uh, I would say that we do need to remember that 
God said in the Bible, do not muzzle the ox while he is treading in the field. So they had an ox that was eating of the grass, the grain. <clears throat> you, sh you shouldn't have stopped the ox from eating what while he's working because that was part of his lot. That was part of his portion. It's the same with uh, the priest, uh, uh, the Levitical priest in the Bible, that their portion was a portion of the tithe that God had sent for the people to take care of, uh, to dedicate to the Lord. Uh, that was their portions to eat. It was, uh, they didn't also, they didn't receive a portion like the rest of the people. Like they didn't receive inheritances of land. The Levites were to be always taken care of by God's people. And so that's how the kingdom order is set up when when taking care of people who are full-time ministry. So please, uh, if, if you're from that channel, Fireside Grace, uh, do be a blessing to them. Do look into them. Uh, I have not met them. I don't know them personally. I just know people from uh, their team and uh, I see what God is doing on those channels. So God bless that team. Let's go into uh, the altcoins. Okay, so let's start with EQZ from New Wu. She had uh, requested this one. Um, shout out to New Wu. She's uh, just a blessing to our channel and a very good encouragement. Um, so shout out to you, New Wu. Um, this is uh, this is starting on a week on a weekly chart. I'm gonna place this blue line here uh, as a resistance area on the weekly. So that's the first one we're going to start off with. We do see that on the weekly, it did react. So we're going to be aware of this area that if we ever did come up to $1.08, we should most likely be experiencing some type of rejection just automatically based on the weekly alone. I won't bother with the, the monthly. There's nothing there. Okay. Um, on the daily chart, what are we seeing? Well, we're starting to see some nice... Uh, curves going on here so you know if you were just eyeballing it you can do something like this if you don't have any curve tools the other thing you can look for is the wicks and if I was really connecting the wicks you start seeing this nice curve and and you can so you know as as price is being very general uh, we're doing this we will have to start making some some lower highs but what's happening is we're slowly starting to upturn but there are some pitfalls along the way. So let's go over those real quick. So you can have these on your charts. Um, I'm going to draw some core resistance levels on the daily. And um, what I'm going to do is uh, let's let's take this and we're going to make this uh, a teal. No, let's make that the blue because it's, it's a very strong one. But this one, we're going to make it a... Uh, uh, we're going to leave it blue too because it's it's important. We can always look back up. <clears throat> we'll we'll know that it's daily. Um this one's I'm normally I don't start this close but because we had such a high up bar, I'm going to I'm going to draw that out and I'm going to connect those two cores there. Okay, and I'll zoom in so you can see what what I did. Okay, so I'm connecting these two cores, this one and that one. And sure enough, you did see, wow, that's pretty accurate. So price did come up to that area and come right back down to that area. So this is something to be aware of. Right now, it is it is looking like we're in range, but there are some heights you need to be aware of. The other height is right here. And there we go. So these are the the you know we we should be on our way up to this area provided nothing's in the way um i'm going to look on a 4 hour chart just to see any, anything um you could see how price slowly starts to turn i'll draw some cuts for you so you can see them um if you were to draw the sword cuts from core to core um, let me let me now draw with white okay core to core and then what you do is you take where those where price cuts and that's when you draw uh, a sword cut when price did not come all the way through here this was bullish but there was another cut that is the wick cut so you can take the the same line and draw it on the wick and then you connect the wicks and that's going to give us a different moment in time 
and actually it's the same area that's really good so price came down and didn't really uh, touch that line exactly but remember there is this huge there's a huge line right here from the daily so if you were not paying attention to what was really happening on the daily you might have missed this this area so we are in support and then um the next things you can you can draw uh you can you can connect the bottoms but you do need to be aware this shape is a little off and i'm going to show you why i wouldn't be connecting these bottoms if you were to connect to say the wicks to here to here to here the shape is actually inverted a little bit see that so when it's inverted uh, I'm not so much wondering, uh, um, I'm not going to be so much drawing these bottoms like that, if I was drawing those bottoms. Um, the You can start here to the second one, and then you can draw that out. Um, so there are some safety nets that price is building uh, in, in that range. Let's look at the RSI. Uh, for RSI, we do have some something to be aware of here. We are in oversold territory as of right about there. So uh, be uh, be aware that we could be going down to this area. And I'll just put some price flags. Okay, and then we will uh, have some support, but this support is weakened. So I'm going to drop it down to like a level one um, because price is penetrated through it, but it still exists. And there's another one too that is in that same range. So um, there is some support, but it's very possible price is going to hang out over here until about uh, August 2nd, 3rd, something, um, and then decide what it's going to do. But as it is, it is bullish. Okay, so look, I'm going to draw the cores. Uh, and I'm going to draw what I see here. Actually, look at this. These three lines are pretty connected. So I'm going to draw those th lines where they're connected. And then where price cuts. See where price cuts. When you see those clear patterns, that's when you want to draw them. Okay, because that's what price is telling you. You draw the cut. Price set on its sword cut there. And that is bullish. So, so right now we're still bullish. Uh, I would expect prices to continue. Uh, and this is on a four hour. So I'd still be looking for prices to continue. Uh, to its next resistance zones. Um, there is a resistance area here where price came down and stopped. Okay, that that is that is that is there. However, it wasn't enough to stop price. Price came down all the way to here to 42, 58, and they came all the way back up. Um, so that is what price is doing for EQZ. So um, just watch out for that EQZ. So overall, I would think we should be going up to the 65 point again, uh, at least. We're still in that area. I don't think this is enough to break it down. Uh, you will, you do need to want to still be paying attention to the 52, 92 area um, to see uh, what 52, 71 area to see price may spike it down one more time. And then this white line over here would come into play at those moments. Okay, so let's draw that a little bit farther. Um, okay, next, AXS. AXS seems to be a launch coin, so it looks like we're going to be um, not paying attention to the weekly at all. There is some uh, things to look on the daily. We'll draw that in blue, the blue, not the aqua. Um, so there is that going on, and... If price is really strong, you want to pay attention to the wick. Sometimes I'll, I'll draw the wick and I draw it dash so I know it's a wick. Next. Four hour. Let's draw. Um, we have a cut here. And at the moment, it's looking negative. We don't have much data, uh, but we are at a sword cut. Okay. So that is a 
uh, XS. Um, could there be some support? Yeah, absolutely. It, uh, here's some tops that we could be experiencing. Let's throw a price flag on there so you can see where we're at for price. If price were to come down today, which it probably won't, it'd be 38.56. If it were to come down in this next week, uh, over the next few days, this is a four hour chart. So if it came down by August 2nd, it'd be 37, tw tw uh, $37.21. So at the moment, I wouldn't expect this to do anything for you right now. If it was really bullish, it would not be sitting underneath uh, these, li uh, these lines. Okay, so it's actually looking weak at the moment. Um, it's actually looking like it's possible it can become a head and shoulders pattern. Okay, we'll start doing that and then we'll draw that next, uh, wherever the next support is. And then finally, the you know the final leg could be like that. That is uh, often a case. So, so currently we're underneath the one. Uh, the next swing up was very weak, so we would be drawing it here. Um, phantoms. Let's draw some phantoms on here and see what we can see. Um, I'm I'm going to draw the wicks because I see a very you know clear. You know there. Um, so if I were to draw the phantom and connect it to the cord, I'm underneath it. So that is a, another sign of weakness. And if I were to draw it to the core, we're under support. So you can see how price is trapped here when we draw the phantom. Okay. Um, it's most likely that price will break down to here and then come up. So this is a X S. Okay, so ADA in USD. We do have some uh, a very large selling candle on the weekly chart, but the very next bar was up on low demand not no demand but low demand and then we did go up higher on even lower so price was ready to test those to see if we had some low prices uh, we did have a large up bar on, on volume spread analysis that that came right back up so that was telling us that there was some buying still so price did have another test but on low demand so that means price is ready to go back down so i wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be going down on this one's um let's look at a daily chart S price likes to mushroom over when it's forming tops it was deciding what it's going to do but um you could see right here that we're at a cut okay and i'm gonna draw that for you let's let's do that okay guys here we go i'm drawing core to core at these cores uh, and then you can also draw these wicks. And I'm just connecting these two major wicks here and it gives me that price spike through and then we're here. So there are two major tops, guys. Draw the core where it cut. It cut there. And that's the sword cut there. You guys like that? Um... Here we go. Let's do uh, and find where it cut again. Uh, this one is cut here. So we're kind of trapped, but at the same time, we're underneath. So this cut is not as powerful at the moment. It's enough to stall prices and make it go up for a few days, which we see price sitting right on top of there. So if I'm zoomed in, really zoomed in, you can see price doing that. See that? So, but this is overall negative because this area <clears throat> is still on the underside of price and price really only cut uh, there and it penetrated. So you got to look at the full story in context. The other thing is that you need to pay attention to is even though that that's negative, you also have this huge guy in the room too so all of this is negative as well we're underneath that it's like being underneath a mountain okay you're thinking price is going to go up guys it has to beat through a mountain you need to sometimes you really got to look at these things in context 
um, there's a lot of battles that need to be won. So there are some supports, though, but they don't make sense. Look, if I were to draw this here, where's the support? Like, look at that cut. It was, it, it, you know, when price touched that cut, it was like nothing. We barely went up like one cent. So that tells me that's not where we should be drawing the, the support. Price itself is the best indicator. Okay. Um, if anything, this is a type of parabolic roof. See that here, guys? Okay. So do you see that? How we're sitting under this parabolic? Underneath. So for ADA, we're looking at lower prices. The story is telling us we're looking at lowers. I, I wouldn't be surprised we get to 0 0.14, 34. I'm going to put a price, a, price flag, a price flag in that range. Okay, so that's what we're looking at that. I am not bullish on ADA at all. Solana. Sounds like a beautiful name. Nothing on the monthly. Weekly. Weekly, we're actually, uh, you know, you can see some things that, that stand out to me right away. First of all, these are connecting. So I'm going to draw those out. The other thing is that we immediately have this going on too. Which is like a flag. Um, but we need to be careful with drawing that because on a weekly chart, you're, you're dealing with a small blip. You know, we need to look at more, more closely to see what's actually happening. Solana USD, S-O-L-U-S-D. Um, same thing. Look at that. These cuts don't make sense. Well, they do. Never mind. They do. Those ones do. Um, here is another. Okay, and if I were to do the wicks, we're having a breakout either way. So either way, on the wicks to the cores, we're having a breakout. But this is a daily chart. You got seven hours to go. Price needs to hard close above here. I would be looking, if this was me, I'd be looking for price to come in and either do that and come or sit on uh, on its uh, these wick, any kind of resistance, really. Um, really, to be on the safe side, you want to... This, this really is... I'm going to tell you guys, this that I catch is how to catch the very bottoms of runs. But you have to examine it. Um... For the most part, in trading, you have to wait till, you know, they talk a lot about cup and handle patterns and things like that. Um, that, you know, price has to come up. So if price was doing that, we would be buying in this area way over here. But what I set out to do by creating the sword method was to have a way to examine the very runs themselves to determine the most likely outcome if there would be a breakout or not. And that's why I just that's why I discovered the secrets of the sword cut and, and, and among other things. Um so you know this is this is what we're really you know this this takes time but you're you're getting good prices and we still have time to see if price will whip out because the most it will do is come back in a range and if it's still not looking good you can exit but for the most part you're able to tell well in advance what's the most likely outcomes. So as it is, prices seems to be building up case for this. Uh, I would want price to do, uh, I'm sorry, I would need price to do something like that and then come up and then sit on there and then we can go up and, and we have a lot. We, uh, we have this time, this time, and this time to do it. So let's just put some price flags at those moments so you can kind of see that. But uh, I'm going to show you what I want. I'm going to take a... Uh price flags i hope this is helping you guys to understand not just understand price but you know guide you through it um, i'm glad that you make me a part of your life uh, make these videos uh, a part of your your uh your week uh let's do this and i'm going to turn all of these as white so you can see 
really what uh, what is happening. These are my quick analysis videos. If price hits these points, well, we can spend some more time on them. But this is all just for you guys, okay? Because I don't trade Solano. But I'm letting you know uh, what things I would be expecting uh, analyzing price uh, at these points. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm checking something else real quick here, guys. We may be getting... Uh, no. Mm -mm. I was going to see if we had some phantom resistance. I don't see any right now. So that is Solano. Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. So for BTCS, uh, from what I understand, BTS, BTCS is supposed to act in a direct relationship to Bitcoin. And when Bitcoin goes up, you can use this to hedge against. Uh, it's supposed to move in an opposite direction or it's supposed to move in those directions when Bitcoin moves. And as long as you're, uh, instead of buying Bitcoin, you can actually just uh, buy or sell these coins. And, and, and they're supposed to do it. But what I've been hearing a lot, uh, and I didn't know they were the same coin, because uh, but I did see uh, some videos earlier in this year talking about how there was a group of people who were trying to sue uh, the creators of these coins or somehow because the coins were not paying out when they were supposed to. Because Bitcoin was having like, you know, big movements. And these, these coins, as you can see, are just doing that. Now, I don't know if that's what they're supposed to do, but generally they should be having these, you know, they should be moving in proportional because when Bitcoin was going down and staying down, they, these coins were spiking back up and they were not paying out. Uh, you can see here, this is a daily chart price. When Bitcoin went really high, it spiked up and then came right back down. Like this is, this is, this is a huge manipulation. So I would stay away from these type of coins because they don't act correctly and they're harder to chart. I will say this, watch out for that point. Okay, so that is uh, BTCS, USD, I believe it's US, USI, USD, some type of stable coin marked to the, dia, the dollar. Okay, moving right along to the final three. Uh, HBAR, HBAR, what is that? HBAR, USDT on crypto, well, let's do that. HBAR, USD. Um, so if you guys are enjoying these videos and enjoying what I do, uh, please remember, if you're just join, tuning in, please uh, remember to like our video, subscribe to the video, um, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Uh, this will be uh, just a great encouragement. I see that you guys are uh, believing uh, in, in uh, the type of work that I'm, uh, that I'm providing for you all. Um, you know, I did used to just do these charts just for myself um, and keep my secrets to myself, but uh, I am... Uh, taking this time of my life to start sharing these things uh, with you all and it's just great uh, that if you do enjoy this content please consider joining me on patreon and uh, remembering to uh, uh, check check our chart daily I'm not sure if you get a text message or you can sign up for those text messages every time I, I send out the updates uh, but I will be uh, I will be posting screenshots of those this H bar this is very interesting It's very choppy. I will say that. It is very choppy. Okay. Even on a hike in Ashy, we are choppy. Okay. You're getting a lot of that. It looks like a distortion. But you'll see patterns forming. When it's like this, I don't like to draw them. <clears throat> but you still can get some general ranges. Uh, let's turn on a weekly chart. When I turn on a weekly, it doesn't give me anything. Normally, at this point, I would turn on like an eight-hour chart or a, um, you know, something like that. But it's 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 uh, it's just hard to uh, to draw anything when it's really choppy. Um, the candles don't make a lot of sense. But we do have some general areas, so let's give you those. Um, So you can see here, this support turn resistance uh, right there. But that line is still in play because we haven't swung down. I would be very aware of that area. Let's put a flag on there. For you, price level, I would be very aware of that area. It's, it's likely that we're going to see price, uh, you know, stretching to that area and then coming back down or deciding what it's going to do next. Um, if I were to draw a parallel, it's the uh, the phantom. It's going to give us that same range. Okay. 
right in the same range. Um, connecting these cores at, uh, I'm gonna phantom that out uh, and put it at the core of here and we're getting that same type of cut zone. So this, when, when price is so choppy, you definitely wanna be looking at ranges more than anything. So you're looking at this general area as being uh, perhaps a resistance area. Okay, so be aware of that. Um, these are work. These 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 phantoms are, are working pretty correctly. Look at see this point here, that point here, holding. We are still holding. Uh, I would be expecting price to you know curve up like this. Uh, after that, I can't say right now. We have to we have to really look. Um, if price were to bake it, I would like it to do that. If it was going to break through and come up. Um, but it's likely we can stay in this area for quite quite some time. It's hard to draw cuts at the moment because of how choppy it is. But that is where I'm looking at at the moment. Okay. Oh, if, if you guys are just tuning in, let's take a look at... Um, uh, let me read to you what is... Uh, this is what I said. Oh, gosh. I learned a long time ago that the blender can hide lots of things dad and the kids don't like. Guess we're in, a good mo we're in the good mom's club, just making sure our families eat all the stuff they should. So if you're just tuning in, uh, there's been somebody that's been texting me and doesn't know that they're texting the wrong number. And I'm so bad. I'm sorry, guys, but I just couldn't help but reply. So this is what I replied right now. I said, well, I'm so glad you welcomed me into the club. It feels so weird to be an honorary member. Definitely a new experience for me, that's for sure. And then she said, <laughs> she said, now that now you know how it's done. Use those skills. And then she sent me like a picture, and it looks like a grandma, but in in a a grandma's face in a rock. She's wearing gra glasses, and uh, she said, "You rock," but it's like a grandma. So maybe I'm a gra maybe she thinks she's texting a grandma. I don't know. But um, when will I reply? Uh, when will I reply? I don't know. Uh, you know, when will I tell her my real name? I don't know. Uh, I can say that I'm just having fun, and uh, she hasn't asked, so I'm not going to. Uh, I don't want to be rude. Okay. Uh, last couple of... <laughs> so funny. Having too much fun on a Saturday morning. Last couple of charts before I get to go eat some breakfast. Uh, late breakfast. So let's do BDB. This is from uh, uh, Jimel One LLI, and uh, he's been very good in the chat room. Uh, been a great guy. Been talked to him. I can't remember his real name. I think he told me. Uh, let's see. BNB USD. Ooh, this looks almost like the same similar situation. Let's look at a monthly, nothing, weekly. These lines have already been penetrated, so I'm not concerned about them so much. We would be looking at this area. Oh, this is actually a parabolic that's been cut here so that is the range you'd be looking at a parabolic um, there is a phantom that's here at that same area so we're looking in that general range as uh, a possible resistance area so <clears throat> I might draw it like that and we'll make that a little bit and I just kind of want you to be aware of, of that area uh, as potential warning area okay so that's where we'd be looking for price to possibly have a, a reversal to uh, for BNB <clears throat> are we looking bullish on a daily chart to do, 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 do connecting these cores are all flat so that's pretty good um, that's good so far that's really good so far uh, this is acting like a support um, there are some cuts here. Of 
core to core that is also bullish so um i could see price doing that um there is some phantom wick that i will draw in and we're going to draw this and this is a daily so i'm still going to keep it blue clone And I could draw this right here blue, but I'm just keeping it green so you, so you know that I'm support, um, looking at support. So uh, on the back, we look like we'd intersect maybe about that point, September 8th, uh, possibly. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're looking to go. I would, I would be very, this is the warning zone. Warning. Okay, so... Maybe we'll look at that. This is these are the quick updates for these charts, guys. But let me give you some price flags, so you have them if you're just following in. Um, that label there, uh, clone this area right about here where the where the curve was hit. Um, and then for reference, we are at this point down here. Thirty six. 316 I don't see any real resistances uh, you know negatives like if I would have saw a price that had been you know um, sitting under price then I would be like oh it looks not good but this still so far we're still looking good okay so you're you're good um as far as that that's what the map shows me again nothing in this video is financial advice this is not trading advice bear in mind i eat red crayons for breakfast and sometimes i get a tummy ache if you do the same you're probably crazy uh so you need to read between the lines as my per my youtube disclosure um letting you guys know that um this is just for comedic and entertainment purposes only all right what else did uh so that was per Stephen francis i asked oh no sorry that was for jamil and he also asked for ada oops let's take a screenshot of that um let's go to ada usd uh we covered ada usd earlier today he was asking for the same one and then rdd last one rdd Woohoo! i get to go eat some breakfast guys i'm hungry uh, I'm not starving. I learned not to see that. Um, monthly, this looks a lot like XRP when it launched. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this closely follows XRP. <clears throat> we're, we're basically at the bottom. I mean, you're, you're talking about a coin that's 0 .00017. Uh, let's go to a weekly and see if we see anything. It's just, you can't go lower than zero. This isn't, when you see this, guys, I'm letting you know, this is not support. <laughs> okay, that's that's zero. <laughs> it can't go negative. <laughs> so, just a heads up from that. You know, that's not an endorsement. Um, XRP can, it had that shape for a lot of reasons, but it didn't hit zero. That's for darn sure. So, all of this is, these these uh these resistance areas you can't really track them too well but we were sitting above and that's why we did go up uh just to kind of show you guys what i'm what i mean real quick come on so if we were to draw that and then we were to continue that line out. We saw a price sitting up here. And then, uh, yeah, we saw a price sitting up here. And it, it's just nothing. If we were to draw the wicks, we get an even steeper curve um, where that cuts. And that we have something, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's just not strong at that moment. Um, not enough to draw really much. There is there is something we can draw. And again, this is in the weekly chart. So this is a long time. Let's draw this blue so you can see it. So just drawing core to core, we, we are at a, a support area. Okay. 
Um, if I am drawing the tops and where I would be warning people about uh, here, the core, and then let's clone down. Let's turn these back to blue so you... Well, they're phantoms, so maybe let's just leave them as the teal. They're still in that blue category, so a very high time frame. So there is a cut in this area. Be aware of that area. Why do I jump from four hour to weekly to daily? Guys, you have to draw where the candles make sense to do the sword method effectively. You have to draw what you see. You can't just only look at the ti uh, lower time frames. If the candles make sense here, that's when you draw them. If they don't make sense, then don't draw them. I'm not saying price is going to go up, but if it did, it would take several weeks for one. I mean, we're talking August 30th, possibly. Um, and then we can we can be hitting a reversal at that moment or coming up and doing that. But it just depends on, on what would happen. For right now, I'm going to leave it at there. Okay, let's look. Uh, let's take a look a little bit closer now on the daily chart, and see how this doesn't make sense. Like it's just chop, but when you zoom out, it's not really chop at all. Um, core to core for this one. Here is another, uh, oops, another cut area. So we have a warning zone there. Um, another previous resistance so th that would make this even more reason to watch and pay attention to that from this uh, this swing top here so let's do what we did with the other price take the rectangle feature um, and we're going to make the warning area okay and uh, let's just bring this a little bit closer And then uh, what I like to do sometimes, uh, bring visual order, bring to front. And then other stuff, I bring visual order, bring to back. So that way you have what you're looking for. So that is RDD. And I, this will conclude uh, the Saturday morning crypto map updates from Jay Song's chart room. Woohoo! Yay! Cue the claps and all the sound effects and stuff like that. In your imaginations, of course. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, thank you for uh, sitting through this Saturday morning. Uh, I am going to go have some breakfast. Uh, thank you very much if this is your first time joining me, watching, my, watching me draw on price maps to see what I see. Just remember, this is not financial advice. Uh, I can only give you the general maps. Uh, bear in mind, I will not be there on Sunday. Sometimes I'll post a, a chart, um, but please hold your questions till Monday. Uh, as is my custom, I make sure that I'm you know, having time to take my mind away from the charts, uh, clear my mind. Um, sometimes I'm able to see things I never did before. Uh, I get to spend good time at church uh, with my loved ones, my family, my friends. Uh, not thinking about price action. I don't see price action 24-7. I did spend years studying this stuff for, uh, for it's been about 19 years now. I've been studying price action uh, and watching price. Uh, so um, there's not a lot that surprises me nowadays. Um, but, uh, you, you know, for, uh, but the price does uh, it really reflect human emotion. And that's why we are able to predict it pretty well because we can predict human emotion uh, fairly accurate. And so uh, anyway, I did want to leave you with this. Uh, please remember that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you. And uh, John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Friends, he does offer that gift of eternal life. It's more, more precious a gift than, than all the money in the world that you can make trading cryptos, uh, than all the success in the world that you could ever have. Um, money uh, can buy things, but it can't buy true happiness that comes with peace as the bible says he will give you uh, the wealth of the wicked he will not add sorrow to it when the, when it's the true wealth um that god gives you and he can he can bless you uh and he can take care of you and i believe that that's his purpose for sharing these things in these seasons uh and and i'm so glad that you're you're here watching these videos with me uh, and i want to say one last thing god bless you all take care today make it a good work uh, a good one make it a good week thank you